Welcome back guys. My name is Nassil Abouaziz and you are on to the Abouaziz podcast. I still get for here with me one of the greatest Nigerian league player, Mfon Udo. Just like I talked earlier for part one, we get one million stories to talk about. We feel use like three days, they talk all this talk, but um, we don't try as much as possible to break them into level where it will benefit everybody. And for the part one, me and Ufan Udo, we talk about um, in growth from NNL to MPFL to the biggest team for Nigeria League, we happen to be a Yimba. We talk about some other challenges we don't happen for in career. And me personally, I don't learn one or two things. And I believe, say, my listeners, them also don't learn. Before we end the part one of my podcast with Umfan Udo, he gave one particular question where I ask, and that question be say, Umfan, when you go Sudan for 2016, he gets one rumor, one news we break out, one talk we come outside, say you feel medical for Sudan. What thing the thing will really happen? I want to hear from the Aussie smart or the all <coughs> smart. Okay, um, in Sudan, they, they said I, I feel medical. Um, if you feel medical, it's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. It could just be a little complication. Okay. It's normal in football. Uh -huh. But um, actually, that, that's not what happened. Okay. You know, I went to Sudan. We had um, a different kind of arrangement okay. in terms of cash. Okay. Yeah, I like money. So we had this agreement. And when I got there, it was something different. Okay. So the agreement was changed. They, they, they were saying something like, um, you know, we don't want you to pay tax. Um, so the money that is that we agreed, you, you're going to put this money, uh, we're not going to put the same money on the papers, okay. but we're going to give you. I said, no, everything I want is going to be on papers. So if you don't want to give me on papers, I don't, I don't mind paying the tax. But give me what we agreed. So there was some kind of confusion. Okay. So we're not going to agree for that, please. Okay. So I had to leave. But when they say play a female medical, no matter if play a female medical, no. If you get problem for your knee, okay. if you get problem for your ankle, okay. if you get for your hand, no, no matter. Mm. So if you feel medical, no, it's not a bad thing. Mm. Now just say you know they okay. Yeah. You just need to go the okay. So it's nothing. It's nothing new. But you know, say Nigerian journalists, or no, you say Nigerian journalists in general, they just like to create news where they know say ah, if they talk about this person, their market go sell. So no matter. Yeah, so, so at least um, the few people where been they get that kind of orientation or mentality say, see what's going happen. And I don't already hear them from the us mouth right now. And no be like that, it be. And um, this one now go bring me to the normal part two of our podcast. Now, the part two now will start this way. Mufon. You as a player for Nigeria League, uh, which coach for Nigeria League you feel talk say now my best coach be this? Now this person, now my feel talk say when I play on them, uh, now this person, now I'm, I take as the best coach. You know, say this, this your podcast where I don't come. They find plenty wahala. Uh, I go to see now this coach, I'm my best coach, and that coach come here and come the best because if he's like very well, without um, any fear of favoritism. My best coach, na Kadri Kana. Why? Well, I, I like in philosophy, I like in system of play, I like in, he's a very disciplined man. Like everything about the man, I like him. Mm. Everything about the man, I like his personality. Mm. So I would say he's, he's the best coach for me in Nigeria because it was actually in his, in his time as a coach. Now that I now win that um, high school scorer. High school scorer. He, he actually pushed me a lot. The man tried away for me, honestly. Now, talking about that, do you think after that period where you collect IS Go Scorer, was there a time where you yourself, mm -hmm. you feel, say, coaches for Nigeria League, they can't they give you some sort of preferential treatment as they, a player? They give me, oh, I don't like for you, they give me. They give you? They give me, oh, because me that time, I give coconut head. I need the year word. So most times I, I they come out, I, went, I go out with colleagues. Okay. So if you come out, we'll come back for night, which was prohibited then. Okay. They, they will say our players should not go out, but I will go out with also some other players. And when we come back, they will say, hey, you went out, 
you went against the code of code of conduct. We're going to take some amount of money from your salary. Your salary, mm -hmm. and they also tell me, but they also they will give me a condition. Only me, they will give me a condition. They say, okay, if you score in this game, mm. we will cut it off. And I'm definitely I'm going to score. Of course, why not? Score. So I know I will score. And when I score, they take it off. But they'll, the other players, they will come out they'll get, they will come out their money steady. So they, they give me that. Pre even they, they give me money safe like ah, some tips. Ah, how you doing? Ah, what did happen? Oh yeah, take this one. Go buy a juice. Take this one. Go lunch. Those things where they do good. I know that's good though. I know that's good. Okay. Now, talking about um, this favoritism, eh? now, do you think there are certain, or what is your say about certain players that in training they don't put in their 100%? But for match, coach believes say, this guy. Eh, me? Must me, I'll be, one of, I'll be one of those players then. Then. And then they put in 100% for training. Okay. I just they are the joke and they laugh. Before March, I'll give 120. Why be like that? I don't know. I they talk about then. Then I they do well well. But it is actually some coaches that will understand. Not every coach will understand that that you 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 can be less in training and give more in, in games. So many coaches don't know that one. But the coach I was working with then understood me. But at but in, in general term, it's not a good philosophy. Mm. You have to train well to play well. After your exploits with Ayimba, after that year where you collect IS goal scorer, mm -hmm. okay. you as yourself, do you see yourself working harder or your training or mentality come down? You know, come down. I actually wanted to break down my record, not until I got sick. Okay. Because when the season started in 20, 2015, I was already five games, four goals mm -hmm. already. Mm -hmm. So I was like, no, nah, this season is going to be awesome. So you won't score past that when the Of course, goals. why not? But they said go way, we say high, like I said, higher goals for myself. Mm -hmm. So even when I fall, I still, I, I fall, still stay in the sky. Yes, yeah. Yeah, so that was the, um, the target. But you know, sometimes life doesn't give you what you want. Mm. So it happened. So what would be your 2% mm, about some Nigerian league coaches? We be say them know they like to work with matured or experienced players for their team. <laughs> that question long ago. Yeah, I like I'm the, tr long, the so. truth is that um, I've seen a lot of a lot of coaches. They don't want to work with this kind of players because they feel they, they feel threatened. Why? Uh, maybe most of them. No, not even maybe. Most of most of the coaches from Nigeria they collect money from players. Hmm. Come they again. collect now. I know. Uh, what are they about? I say many Nigerian coaches they, they collect money from players. Why? I know they were well. I don't want to call their names. I don't want to cause for Allah. Yeah. Then plenty. But why? And they just feel sitting they help the player now. Hmm. Generally in Nigerian League, even from the management, they think they are helping the players. Hmm. They, they will call you, um, Abu Aziz, uh, you can sign this contract. You go say, okay, where's my copy? They see the fine copy. And no worry, when we we'll give NFF the copy, they give us, they will send it back to you. How? So now, until you give NFF the, the, the original copy, before, before you they give Abu Aziz. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. So if you know what you say, hey, you know what you know where to go your ass now. We send another player. Like what? What? Why, why would? Why would you do that? It doesn't make any sense. So that is what they do. They feel they are helping you in your career. So they do whatever they want to do. The coaches want to get money from you. The management want to give you a contract and a lot of whole stuff. So it's plenty. Hmm. This one talk don't full basket. Hmm. But now you don't play for Ayimba. You don't play for Aqua United. You carry league with Ayimba. You carry. I carry a league for Aqua United. For Aqua United. Mm -hmm. So everything about Nigerian football don't already do your hands. Now, why Nigerian teams, apart from club side, so even Chan Eagles, the own base Eagles, why they know they do well for continental games? I, I, I think, um, f first, what I would say is um, lack of preparation. Hmm. They have little or no time to prepare. They, 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 they prepare very late. So you get, you get tournaments. Uh, and if you say if you do one month training, you're okay, you're okay to go. No, it doesn't. And you don't bring new players, come join. Football is, is teamwork. No be one player, only one, one player, one player, one player, one player. It has to be teamwork, it's cohesive. Like now everybody could join together play him. So if you just go carry one player, if you say because you don't sign Messi, oh. only Messi will come do the whole work. No, Messi has to join with the other players to understand themselves so they can they can play well. So you could just start training two weeks. Chan will go, we'll go, we'll go start training two weeks, we'll go chan. And you expect us to do well. Hmm. It's not possible. Football is not played that way. You're going to play with people that have trained for like three months. 
So you, you can see the difference. Very, so when we go, we, we don't do well. You as a person, as a star, as a legend in the Nigerian Premier League, have you ever had any issue issue with any coach or management ah. for when we see them use them against you during the that league? One, that one has steady steady now. They get, they get issue every time. Especially when it has to do with money. Me, I like money. I'm hmm. playing for money. Okay. In as much as football is my passion. Hmm. But I have to feed my family. Mm -hmm. I have a family, I have to feed them. Yeah. I have people that are depending on me. Yeah. A lot of people depending on me. So I have to feed them too. I have to give them whatever I, I, I can help them with. So when I'm playing for you and, I'm, and you're owing me, and I'm trying to talk to you like, um, so you can, we can have an understanding. And you, you don't want me to, to get an understanding about my money. Like I'm, at the time I brought spend my money, Wait for them to say, okay, no vessel so money, no deal. See what happens, see what happens. Well, you the invest, right say, now. I ask for money, my own money. So when you ask this management for this money, they have issues with you. Yeah. For some coaches, they just feel, many people don't understand your life. Some people feel you have pride. Which is the pride? Oh, you're not talking to anybody. So you minding your own business now is the problem for somebody. Hmm. See, just say, I want to do on my own. I don't want to talk to anybody. My just they are complaining. I go to my house. I want to concentrate. They say no. You suppose they laugh. You laugh. They say you too laugh. You laugh too much. You talk. They say you talk too much. So that everything you do is a problem for them. Man, my guy, don't worry. Just do your work. So anyone who hates me hates you. So, for a player of your caliber, we don't play for the biggest teams for Nigeria. A player of your caliber, we don't play with some of the best coaches for Nigeria League, from club sides to national team. Mm -hmm. I won't make you tell me and my viewers and my listeners the difference between coaching styles for Nigeria, yeah, and when you play for abroad. What's it be the difference? You know, um, all all this stuff. It depends on personal. It depends on the individual. Mm. It's personal anyway. So, um, coaches for Nigeria, they get their, their style of coaching. Mm. Coaches for abroad, they get their style of coaching. Mm. For example, most teams for Nigeria, they, they tend to get too much pressure from, from the management. Mm. They tend to, like, okay, man, just use this one, like, example. We'll come training. Training will come, oh. Not many are training, supposed to train. Then go say, eh, we'll do devotion. We we'll do the vision, we we'll clap and we we'll sing song, we we'll go do, we we'll pray, finish for day. The coach can't talk for like 20 minutes to 30 minutes, talk, finish, before they can start the program. Sometimes you won't come training. You know, you go face rich training. Coach never come. Hmm. I never seen for a before. My coach, the face was like one hour, 30 minutes before training. I coach, the face rich day. He would just set the cones, set the programs, discuss some with the other assistants. They understand. Then you see, go back in your office, go sit down. They rest, they study some other things before even players come. Me, when we play, I they go training one hour before training. Before I read my coach, they already set up program finish. So that's the difference. Coach will just come. So the players will come training, will come to wait for coach to come. So the coach, the, the coach will even come. You go come maybe 30 minutes after the training time. So most of the coaches, their mentality they very low. Yeah, talking about this same issue like this now, I won't know. Based on you don't play for year, you did that abroad, they play right now. Why Nigerian league players, if they play match, they know if it's exchange jerseys, say, okay, my guy, my guy, <laughs> after ball now. Nah, eh? how, how do we, how do we take exchange jersey when we say now only one jersey they get? How? You, now only one jersey they bring up match now? In the old season? Yeah, no. They go bring only one come game. Okay, some teams they try, they go bring two. Say, if you use one first half, Use one for second half, but after the game, they go call it the JC go back. If you carry your JC, give your friend, you go pay for him. Hmm. Yes, you go pay. So they never exchange JC. Wow. So now we see that happen with that. So, but this thing no day for abroad now. We all know. For abroad, you, they get, like me, I get two JC almost every game. Hmm. So I get the choice to give or not to give. Wow. All right. So, Umfo, as a player, when you did Nigerian League, would seem be the highest distance where you don't travel for a league match? I think um, that was Meduguri. We Meduguri, we traveled for like, um, if I'm not mistaken, like, um, uh, or I'm not even ex exaggerating, should be like um, approximately like, let's see, thirty something hours. Because something hours. yes, because it was like two days. Hmm. We traveled 
we had to sleep over the next day we traveled again and after the game we didn't even have a shower we had to travel back like not on even one location different location we had to travel back because they said Medugi was not safe hmm. so we had to travel back with the sweat everything the bus is going to be stuffy we travel back to like okay let's say a, a state that is close hmm. the so we pass the night yes we pass the night there sometimes we, we have traveled and we sleep on the bus wow it's not a new thing in nigeria all nigerian players know this hmm. probably they're scared to say it hmm. we travel we sleep on the bus or probably we have a um, bus breakdown or um a lot of issues i'm not even talking about going to hotels sleeping in hotels that look that look like a, a chalet Ciao. Or, or on Barama place, or this you place know, on Barama you know, you know, as the matter be now, like you could just come on, you go see a hotel, you won't cry. No matter how bad your house is, you see better pass those places. But yes. So, and you as a player, you don't even get right to complain. If you talk, if you like say you no one go the next game, if they talk, you talk against the management. Wow. So, Unfo, I remember say 2016, me and you, okay, I come join you for a Yimba 2016. Yeah. And I re also remember, say, when I won't come join on a Yimba International Football Club day for Ogun State, Ota. Mm -hmm. So now Ota, I don't come join. Would they come up for Ota, would they go Kaduna? Okay. For one preseason tournament. Mm -hmm. one okay, that one way, I'm not going to break in. Where they robbers were rude. How may you share your experience about that? Um, that robbery incident we happened for man that robbery was not funny okay let me i'm i'm, I'm just going to try to break it down mm -hmm. so we traveled we got robbed we we had two buses the first bus passed the second bus got intercepted so they robbed us they took all our valuables yeah, you didn't set up yes they it. took our phones they took our cash but we very lucky we, we were not harmed yeah. so they only took our stuff and they left we got back to we got to Kaduna, mm -hmm. and um, the only thing we had, the chairman didn't even speak to us directly. He, he he spoke through the team manager. He was like, um, "We are sorry, you guys got robbed." The chairman, the chairman sent his um, condolences. Thank God nobody was hurt. Blah 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 blah. Okay, make una put an account number. Make una write waiting the collect from una and all those things. Who wrote what they lost? They just write and they give the management. Now only right to write. That was just the end of it. Wow. Nothing was done. Hmm. Nothing was done. And you must not complain. If you complain, you don't move. If you complain, you don't move. They look for a way. They look for something that they will nail you with. Because they are already angry about what you said. So they look for something that you will do. Or they try to make some they will try to set a trap for you. So you can fall inside it. Or they can say, okay, just something. They will just do something so, so that, that you they just, use your they will use them. Markets. Yes, they will use them. Meanwhile, you know, no, say that that's the way they, they do. The way you, they, you talk, and I waiting they use against you. So now, so they do. So man, this happened to be some of the few things where Nigerian league players they face. But uh, many people know they feel talk because um, nobody, everybody gets that mindset. Nobody everybody get that mind. But unfun. You get another thing where they always they bother me and um, I have decided to use this platform to ask you. In 2014, you were the highest goal scorer in the Nigerian league. Okay, yeah, true. In 2016, you collect highest goal scorer for CAF Champions League. Do you think if to say now abroad you they play Talk ball finish now in 2019 i see color score again sorry for nigerian league S yes 2019 is go scorer for okay. nigeria do you think if to say you be one kind english player or brazilian player you for don't get brand endorsements man talking about brand endorsement in nigeria is very hard because because of the standard of the league what would be the standard of the, the league? league no get standard there's nothing happening in the league hmm. referees robbing and Winning games for teams, hmm. um, home teams trying to do a home must win. Hmm. Like you know, the, the league, you no, know, it, it, you know, get level. Hmm. There's a standard. You know, go see hardly you see an away team going to win four zero. Hmm. You go see them for for abroad. You go see them for England. You go see them for Spain. Hmm. You go see them in other places. You know, they possible. Hmm. Hardly you see in, in EPL. You see fans enter few beats for free. So even this refuse, in as much as sometimes they fuck up, he had had it before he see fans go enter they beat them. Hmm. So even at that they feel scared. So they want me the home team win. So that, so that them, no good exactly. Day, no okay. So that they go they save. So the league no get brand. Everybody knows home must win. 
So when you see a team going to an away game and they draw, ah, you be like, say they don't win the league. So all these things, how can a team and how can a brand come to invest in something like this? In a league that it, is not they, well They can't. Produced. So that's the that's the problem. So you hardly see a player having an, an, an endorsement with um, all these companies. But if you see for abroad, Nigerian player with abroad, you will see him go get them. Yes. But yes. that's some company will do this endorsement for this player with abroad. They did Nigeria. But they don't send the league. They don't send the league. So we need to do more in the league. Hmm. So this particular do more in the league, is it a problem of the player or the management of the club or the management of the league in Manag general? Management of the league, management of the club, even the players themselves. So when I, when I start with the management of the league, mm. it is their problem because most of these referees, they go to take bribe. Probably because the money they are getting is not enough. The management of the team, they have pressure from the government because most of the clubs, if it's, it's a few that is owned by private sector, most of the clubs are government funded. So they want to win the game so that they can retain their job. Mm. Because by winning the game, they think you're doing well. Mm. So they want to win the game. So they go against all odds, trying to bribe the referee and, and a whole lot of stuff. Then the player side, players have this mentality of home must win. They don't want to train. Laxity in training, laxity in mentality. Now we're home now, we must win. So when they don't win like that, they go. even the players, we see the player, they attack the free. Because if you say, the free will give them penalty. So all this kind of, so it's almost everywhere around. Do you think a player's um, social media um, presence or how a player handles his social media, does it um, in any way aid or helps you in getting any sort of brand endorsements? It can. It depends on how you're handling your brand. Okay. What are the What are the ways you think a player should be handling his account for him to at least be known? Because I feel um, so many Nigerian league players um, they they are not active on social media like like, um, like um, X. I mean Twitter, Instagram. You don't see many Nigerian players back then being active there. They are more active on Facebook. Do you think how you handle your account? Maybe you play match today now. You score go. You use your hand, post your stuff. Do you think brands would be able to see you more? Well, they might. It, um, it's a possibility because that's social media. And social media has power. Mm. Because when you post something, it goes viral. Mm, yeah. A lot of people see it. No matter how few, mm. but a lot of people see it. So I think it, it can enhance you in getting um, an endorsement. On the other hand, talking about you as a player posting your videos of matches, would it be the quality of the video where we even they see? Yeah, it depends. It depends on the league itself because nobody you nobody you get the camera, mm. so the league has the camera. But I because I see I see many Nigerian league games, the the video quality is very 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 poor. Very poor. That is why so you when, wouldn't when, even be able to even post even when you, even when you post it. Like somebody even trying to watch it, ah, nah. This in the paper for he say no. This thing don't make sense. He will just say no. It don't make sense. So, Umfon, talking about brand endorsements, you don't already talk right now. Say the Nigerian league itself, no level, one thing, one thing like that. Eh? How you take the see this thing? Say okay. For instance, you base for Uyo. Many, many times you they go Abuja, sometimes you day for Lagos. How do you feel, say, you they work out for road now? You see one billboard. Na actors, actress, comedians, eh? Na them they do endorsements for all these uh, MTN, Glow, and Co. Them. They, you know if you see footballer, eh? Do you think football no even get level at all for Nigeria? You no, know, you say no. You see footballer, you go see footballer, but no be Nigerian league footballer. Eh, I mean, Nigerian football, yes. footballer. So, we talk so, about no everything now about branding. Mm. They hear the video song everywhere. Mm -hmm. Now branding, mm. they make the song they known everywhere. Mm. They publicize the thing mm. everywhere you go hear them. Yeah, comedians, see skits, even normal skits. You go see her everywhere for social media, Facebook, Instagram, everywhere. Mm. They make up, they know, they do shows. 
But you know, so for the Nigerian League, who they okay, like now last season, who they show Nigerian League? Hmm. Which which station they show Nigerian League? Where well, you know? Hmm. Even camera self, someone even carry camera. Who not like it's a, it's about that's what they call it branding. Branding. You know, there is no branding in Nigerian League. Hmm. So as you know, they so what do you expect? Nothing. Hmm. So people people want things that are known. MC no can say who wants and uh, give a folder endorsement. How many people know about folder? How many followers in get? Who they follow and what what they do? Who they see them? So that's the problem. Hmm. So so in folder, you as a person, do you think? Or make I use make I use pigeon. Say you think say very soon you will come back to Nigeria League. Hmm, I don't think I'm like that. Though. Like um. Um, I know I know maybe would vex anyway because I know since tomorrow they hold this thing against me, but I don't see myself going back to Nigerian League. Though his life it might happen, but me, I know just I won't play again. They stress too much. Hmm. Traveling for two days, you have a family that holding you in camp. They say me no go meet two man. Hmm. Me no go meet two man. They forget some people they married. Hmm. So if your wife they honey call, are you not going to fulfill your your husband, your role, your husband role? So like your civic responsibilities. Yes, now, Civic, religious, hmm. he plenty. There's he plenty. Hmm. So like uh, they carry go come go put it for one enclosed place, not even conducive. Hmm. And they say no because if you say if you come out, you go sleep woman, you know can't get strength, play ball, all those kind of things. Like the the restriction and the restriction that too plenty. Hmm. So uh, me, I cannot cope. Hmm. Me personally, for me, I cannot cope. I feel if, if I play for abroad. You know what for me again? I'm not going retire because right now I'm even trying to put things in place, make us do business. Boy, don't tire me. Mm. So maybe they, that kind of jaffa boy won't play. They suffer too much. Mm. We're we are walking like elephants, eating like ants. Mm. Even with the penny they are paying, they think they are doing too much. Wow. So it's crazy. So like this now. Uh, maybe if God say mm. you feel come, but you know day your mind. If God say I won't come, man. yeah, we all tell God say no. You get some call, call we go call, you never answer. <laughs> yes, now. So my guy, eh, we don't they come closer to the end of this episode, eh, but I want to ask you this particular one again. What will be your relationship with Nigeria League um, reporters? Right from when you, you know, say you now? talk, you talk one thing about Sudan one time. That talk, you know, talk and finish. Mm. That's Sudan where I go safe. Mm. Okay, okay. My answer your question first. Coming to reporters, I I get very good relationship with them. Okay. They may be this kind of person. Maybe if you don't talk to me, I need to talk to you. Okay. Because most of the reporters, they feel they are doing you a favor. Actually, they are doing their job. Mm -hmm. Me, I they play ball. Mm. I they do my job. Correct. You they report. You they report your job. Correct. But most of them, they feel okay as they report you. They feel said they publicize you. Mm. You are making your story. You are making your news mm -hmm. and the news you're making it based on facts and evidence true story what is happening mm -hmm. so it's your news mm -hmm. but they feel that okay they're making a news more the more news they make about you they are publicizing you oh. so they feel you should you know give them something mm -hmm. so when you don't give them something they stop talking about you mm -hmm. so they feel that when they stop talking about you that they're making you irrelevant mm -hmm. but that's not actually the case mm -hmm. yes i know that media plays a big role it does mm -hmm. absolutely but somebody being biased, even when you have a story, he knows that if, even him posting your story or writing about you will also make him make him or her Relevant. a bigger um, journalist. They refuse because they think that um, because he need to give us money, so move just leave him and make it make his story no come up. So many many they forget about he cannot forget about you. Hmm. When God when God no forget about you, nobody will forget about you. Even hmm. when they don't write about you, you will see the blue. They go. Hmm. The only thing that will, will be lacking is that maybe they reach. Your reach, like say the things where they do, don't go reach so many people. Hmm. That's just the only thing. So that's something we talk about. When I, when I go back to that Sudan, that we Sudan, talk about okay. yes. So you get one journalist where talk say, my even mention his name safe because that guy me I go beat him one day. You know my Fisayo. He talks say Fisayo. Uh, yes, Fisayo. You know the guy. Okay, okay. He talks say ah. See, when Nigerian players, why are they always following our hands sitting in the travel? Like, I'm just trying to sum up what he said. Uh, sitting in the travel, see, I'm fucking fond of traveling. He's wearing a singlet. Okay. And during okay. that same time, I think a week before, David Silva traveled to Paris Saint Germain from Chelsea to sign. Okay. He was, he was singlet, sleeveless. Okay. Nobody even said anything. They were like, they only reported the news. But when he reached us, now we, they use our hand, they bite ourselves. Okay. So, I was, I was looking good. Okay. But I think he was just trying to make a story with my name that he go blow because that time I was still 
You the hot. Yeah, the hot. So that time in office said, okay, if I use this guy next story, the thing will blow. But that was a very wrong story because that guy well, I know. When he said that thing, I, I was like, dress dress sense. I go open in Facebook, I couldn't look in picture. Or right away dating with Kitos. I call that that Sanders. Kito. Kito. I look the guy, I look the guy, I look the guy, I say, ah Jesus, even even back then, like 2008, I dressed past this guy in 2023. <laughs> so I look the guy, I, I just laugh, I say no, 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 no. So all those kind of things, many people they bias. Mm, mm. Probably because say, maybe I need I need Roja or I need okay. do it in the face as well. So mm. they call this and the verse. Mm. But me, I don't care, maybe oh, for the house and the chop. Oh. So all those things are normal thing. I even really like when they talk those kind of things about me. You see all mm. those negative news there? Eh? You see what I mean? It even project you more. Mm. Because as of that time, eh? I had a lot of people calling me. Hey, do you see this? I say, oh, I love it. I hope the guy repost them. Hmm. Yeah. So, Mufo, still talking about this reporter's matter because me, I be this kind of person. We say I believe say respect begots respect. I be not be say that they talk. Not say they talk. So I believe say if somebody respects you, no matter the level or no matter who the person be, you go give them your own respect. Mm -hmm. Me as a person, I still get some Nigerian League reporters. You say me and them, we still there on a very very good times. Okay. You get. So I want to ask you. If you mention few names among Nigerian League reporters, you say then these ones. If they call you midnight, say guy, I want to talk to you. I want to interview you till tomorrow. I eh? I feel talk more, but you know they say eh? you see the way this life they go. Mm. Somebody got use wisdom. Mm. Do things. Yeah. Maybe if you can talk one person, I don't mention the other person. Mm. Maybe I I don't mention I'm due to say I don't forget yeah. or something. You can't use it against me. Say I imagine you see my guy, you, yeah, you, talk, say, you can't say you don't go exclude my name. Yeah. I get a whole lot of reporters, like yeah. a whole lot. Me, I don't get problem with anybody. Anybody get problem with me, they ain't get the problem with me. Mm. No, me get the problem with them. Yeah. Aside Fisa, what I mentioned, I said I, I, I put that for mine, no, because that thing we do, it wasn't nice. Because as at that time that you did that stuff. He was a very good friend of mine. Hmm. So I feel like you're, if you're my friend, aside journalism or football stuff, oh, they, like I have, liars. yes, with the talk, if, if there's something that happened and you did not like it, if I did something and I went against the, the Anything, odds, uh, you, you're supposed to call me and you're supposed to tell me, you. oh, bro, see, 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 this is the way you do. See, you know, do I'm well, oh. you're supposed to do like this. That is what, that's what we call friendship. Hmm. But you know, do I'm, instead, instead of me, you call me, tell me personally, you can't go social media. Go talk. That means you need my friend. Hmm. You go talk, you go cast me now. Hmm. Even when I knew I was okay. But he, he wanted to just make that in the show sitting with your friend with that. Hmm. So I get a whole lot of reporters that are my friends and they're still friends with me. You, in as much as say we don't keep in touch or we don't like frequently. Hmm. But they are still my friends. So I know I mention names, they're plenty. Make I know go mention some. Come omit some. They hmm. come to use them against me. So you get okay. Yeah. Yeah, so um, before this particular question, you they talk something. We they talk about player dressing, dressing, dressing. Me, I know you hundred percent. You for your mind, you fit mention few NPFL players. Huh? NPFL players, when you know, say yes, then this ones they dress. You go, you go hard to mention, sure, because me, I know. Aside from the ones where they see physically. Mm. You go hard to mention because me, I need to enter most Nigerian players' DM or stories or something. Mm. But few way, like, okay, the last time I played in Nigeria League mm. was Aqua United. Okay. So around Aqua United, I don't see few way dress well. Like, they might dress well, though. Their dresses might be good, but it's not what I like. Mm. So me, I will feel say somebody dress well, depending on my own dress sense. Your own dress sense. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. I think. Um, that time, I don't know who I will give. No. Okay. But about the dress well of late year. Mm. The dress well. Of late. Of late year. Okay, before you know the dress well. Before you know the dress well. <laughs> not, 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 my kind of, not my kind of. Not okay. my kind of. Okay. Dress well of late. Okay, okay. He has been, he has been up there. Okay. Back then to Olisanda. Hmm. Olisanda. They are sexy boy. They like do, he like doings. Okay. Who again? You don't finish. Hmm. Nobody need dress well okay. for me. Okay. Yes. So like this now for your own belly and your mind now, eh? Ulisanda of Aqua United, Badibo of Aqua United. What about when you did Yimba? 
when I did imba, more imba people they bodo, people they dress well. That time they plenty you, they plenty you. Ah, RIP little dodgy. Mm. They dress well, dress clean. I escape in the dress mm -hmm. well. Uh, what What about Obiozo? Obiozo, Obio, it was just on average. It was just there. Okay, okay. Not bad, not too good, not too bad. Like oh. it was just on average, like scale of in the scale of um. Ten. One to ten, so it was like okay, six. Oh, okay. So me, I'm like talking about people I felt were like um, seven or eight. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, so, so before I end um, this particular uh, podcast, I want me to share your experience, like lifestyle, lifestyle of a player where they play for a Yimba. That's lifestyle of footballers for Aba. Man, lifestyle of this player for Aba, man, it was, it was crazy. Mm. Uh, Aba was fun. And mm. um, the players, um, you know, normally Nigerian the players after the game they just want to chill, they want to relax. Mm -hmm. And um, back then in Nigeria, we had we had a lot of big players. Okay. Players that um, were matured, mm -hmm. matured in age, matured in sense, matured in the football game, mm -hmm. matured in all aspect of life. Mm. They actually tried. I I enjoyed about so much. Their lifestyle was awesome. Like um, we had this sort of collective stuff. We we go out in bunch, mm -hmm. like in groups. Not like um, f only few people actually went out alone. We went out in groups. Me, you, and some other people would just come out. We mm -hmm. just chill. So th there was this kind of cooperation okay. in Yimba of that I was set okay. 2016. So the lifestyle was awesome. Aba was not too a nice place, but we always created this fun. Okay. There, there was actually no fun there, but we created fun within ourselves. We go to a confined place. We turn that place to our own fun base. Okay. So we, we turned to a fun base, we play there, we do everything we want to do, we stay there together. It was actually nice. And um, you as a player, do you think um, when players gather somewhere to have fun, do you think the management are always comfortable with that? Man management are not always comfortable. They feel that when you have too much fun, that um, it distracts your game. Mm. But actually, we're not having too much fun. It was just fun because everything that is too much is always a problem. Yeah. So but we're having fun because fun is part of the game. Sometimes you need to forget about football because you go to the field every day. So sometimes you need something that distracts you mm. from football so you can be able to concentrate. Because even in English language, they say, all oh, work without play makes with a double, Jack. So. Yeah, so Umfa Udo, lastly, how would you see this particular topic? Me and you, they play the same position. Mm -hmm. And me and you, na friends. Yeah. That period, you can't do better than me. Nobody say I did do badly. Mm -hmm. I did do well. Okay. But you did do better than me. Yeah. Then all of a sudden, eh, our coach, if you see me and you, where we sit down, they talk, eh, he go call you, follow you talk, give me bombastic side eye. You as a player. How you see him? Well, I feel I feel that's that's not nice because um, if we're playing for a coach, mm -hmm. we're playing for a team and the person is our coach. Mm -hmm. He's supposed to he's supposed to carry everybody along. Okay. So even if even if I'm the one playing, even if I'm the one playing, he's supposed to like um, carry me along and mm -hmm. also carry you along because he also is player. Because I always feel that even the player on the bench is more even important, important. than the player playing. Okay. So if you if you if you're being friendly with me because I'm the one playing. You can f you and you forget that football is um is skeptical. It's like, about it's unity. Something, yeah, you know, it's, it's about unity, but it, there's something about it that I, I might be the one playing today. Mm -hmm. It might be the one playing tomorrow. Okay. So if he's treating you bad today, and tomorrow is your turn to play, what is he gonna do? Hmm. He will start being friendly with you because you're playing. So that means he's only friendly with people that are playing. He's not friendly with the team. So he has to be a teamwork. He has to be friendly with everybody because he's the one that is in charge. Lastly, I won't get your suggestion. I won't get your opinion. Mm? Me and you and our friends. Yeah. I did. I no get club. You get club. Okay. Mm? You get club. You did for one team. Okay. After some time, your coach. Yeah. Call me for phone. Mm -hmm. Say you need me for that team. Okay. And at the same position, me and you did. Okay. As I come the team, they won't drop you. Okay, because to you sign come. me. Okay. Mm? Me as a friend now, me I no reason anything because I don't do house for long. Okay. I signed the contract. Yes. You can't begin the vex for me. See if to say I be better friend. You know for come the club. I for no come the club because I can't collect your job. Okay. This thing don't happen for okay. club we I know before. Okay. So what's in be your own two percent for that stock? Make I talk. You know, say if you they come the club where I did, 
I'm talking from my own from my own standpoint. Yeah. If they come club why I did with my friend, they call you come to the club. So yeah. when you come come to the club, with me and you they play the same position because yeah. they can't drop me. Bro, I no good. Hmm. I no good. If I was good or if that, that means I had a problem with the team. Hmm. If I was good and everything was okay, mm -hmm. there will be no point for them to call to you. Invite so me. for them to call you to come. Okay, that, that means if 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 I'm angry that you came to the club. That means I was I was happy about your your position being at home. Yes, not, being at home. Hmm. Ibo they say oh you go turn by turn. Hmm. Actually, I will not feel I will not I, I may feel bad like a person because they dropped me from a team I was working and earning. Mm -hmm. But if if I want to go back to the drawing board, if I was doing what I was supposed to do, hmm. there will be no need for them to call you to come and replace me or to even come and join me in the first place. Mm -hmm. If they call you to come and join me and we stay together, it's a different thing. But when yeah. they call you to come and replace me. Mm. Is something different. That means I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do. So what thing go be sad go the vest say okay, my friend I can't take my job. If I was doing my job properly, they would not have to call you. Mm. So that means it's something I was doing that was wrong. So personally for me, I'll go back to the drawing board and do what I'm supposed to do. But mm. my talker like human being, I go vex so <laughs> I go vex, like honestly, I go I go vex. Yes. Like yes. see now nah, you can't call it my job. Mm. Normally, that's so more like ninety percent of the human beings are still go talk. Hmm. But in, in in real fact, I wasn't doing what I was supposed to do. So more wait, uh, wait. You will still continue this particular topic uh, because um, if we say more continue this way, uh, we we'll not to get plenty time and plenty talk day for us to talk. So my dear listeners, my viewers, um, we don't finally come to the end of this particular part, but this episode with the great Umfanudo still continue. I just um, I go use this an uh, opportunity to beg on her again to go subscribe to our YouTube channel to follow us on all social media platforms to listen to us on Spotify to check us on TikTok everywhere we did and for the other people where they help me they repost they retweet they share I really thank Connor I will see you now for the last part of the episode with Umfan Udo peace out. <laughs>